Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to model a coffee shop. As you can see it's very detailed and we are going to model each part separately. So let's start. First we are going to model the bar, the counter. So I'm going to go to first level and in this part I'm going to create a new model in place. You can select generic model, furniture or casework or any other thing if you want. I'm going to go with this generic model. Then I'm going to use this extrusion and the rectangle and I'm going to draw my bar from this part to here. 90 cm for its width and 500 cm for its length. Then I'm going to create another one from this part exactly to here. 1 meter for its length and 90 cm for its width. Delete this line and this one and trim the other lines together. Now I'm going to create fillet for this corner and also for here. Hit finish and set its extrusion end on 50 cm. Now copy it on itself and go to its edit extrusion. I'm going to first delete these lines and with this peak line and offset of like 10 cm, I'm going to draw another line in this part. Hit finish and set your extrusion end first on 95 cm or 90 or 80 if you want and your extrusion start on 15 cm. Okay. We need another copy of this on itself for the top board. So I'm going to copy it again on the same place and I'm going to go to its edit extrusion. Again, we are going to delete this line and create another one with this peak line and offset of 10 cm around it. Okay. For this part, I'm going to change this extrusion end on 1 meter and this extrusion start on 95 centimeter. Okay, let's go to 3D view and see how it looks. It's good, but it's kind of simple. So I'm going to go to first level again and with extrusion, I'm going to draw some shapes around it. I'm going to do one like this with 12 cm length and 3 cm thickness. Then I'm going to set its distance from this wall on 5 or 6 cm. Okay, and I'm going to copy it exactly from this point to here. For the other side, I'm going to select them and rotate them 90 degree. And then I'm going to move them to this part. I think we need to move these to this part. For this curve, I'm going to select one of them and copy it to this part. I'm going to rotate it 45 degree and I'm going to move it closer to this part. Then I'm going to copy it again in here and another one in this part and rotate them both simply like this. Since we have another curve on the other side, I'm going to select them and copy them to this part. Then I'm going to rotate them all together 90 degree and I'm going to move them to this part. I'm going to copy it to here. Okay, it's enough. Finish and go to 3D view. I'm going to move it up to under this counter and from the base I'm going to move them up 15 centimeter. For assigning materials to them we need to select them and in this part we need to create a parameter for them. So I'm going to click on this new parameter and then we need to give it a name. Counter top for this part. For this part we can create another one with like slats. For this part we can go with foot kick. And for the main part which we need to select from this point we can go with simply counter or bar. Okay. And now you can hit finish. 
Next part is going to be the shelves, the frame behind this counter, behind the bar. So I'm going to go to this 3D right view and then I'm going to create a new generic model. First, I'm going to set my work plan on this wall exactly and then I'm going to use extrusion for creating my model. Use this rectangle and draw your shape in this part and another one in this part. I'm going to set both of them on 30 cm. Now I'm going to use this start end radius and I'm going to draw an arc from this point to here. Trim these parts together. Before we turn this into frame, I'm going to use this line and copy it with like 80 cm just to have some parts in here and also in this part. I'm going to extend this countertop to here and then I'm going to simply copy it up with 80 cm distance. Use this pick line and with offset of like 4 cm I'm going to create another line around this. Hit finish and put its extrusion end on like 8 cm. Now we are going to go to this top view and in this part we need to copy it to here. So I'm going to click on this copy and with this constraint unchecked, I'm going to copy it from this part with distance of 1.3 okay i'm going to use this extrusion again for creating those shelves so i'm going to first set my work plan on this part and then i'm going to use this rectangle on this part and also on here and another one in this point now let's go to top view and extend it to this part copy it to all of these parts select them all and create only one material for all of them and i'm going to call it frame now if you want you can select it and from this edit type you can create a material for it i'm going to create a new material just to change its color so let's call it frame and change its color to something black don't forget to check this one if you want to see the color in this view. I also want to change the color of this so I'm going to go to this part and for the slots I'm going to use the same frame for the countertop. Change it to simply bar and I'm going to use a color like this for all of those parts. Moving on to the next part, we have these beautiful windows in here. First, create some frames and windows for it. We can create them in a new family, window family, or we can again use this model in place. I'm going to select this window and then we are going to go to this right view again. First, set your work plan on this wall this one exactly and then use this extrusion and this pick line for selecting this frame and then I'm going to create a line from this part to here another one from this point exactly and two other lines in here I'm going to use this pick line again and with offset of like three centimeter I'm going to click on all of these lines Hit finish. Select it again and copy it on itself and go to its edit extrusion and simply delete this outer loop. This is for creating glaze, the glass of this window. Hit finish and let's go to this first level. I'm going to first move this frame to this part and then this glass to here. Before copying it for these parts, I'm going to select it again and I'm going to assign materials to copy it to this part and here each part of this project is a special and i also want to make this sitting area beside these windows super special use this detail line for creating the area i want it to be kind of in here it should be two by two okay now i'm going to go to this 
3D right view and in this part I'm going to do a shape with another generic model something like this but in a smaller scale first let's set the work plan on this wall this one and then use this extrusion for modeling it you use this peak line and offset of 10 centimeter in this part and in here then I'm going to use this line for creating a frame around it 40 centimeter let's say to here and also from its center 14 centimeter up and to here trim these two parts together and also this part with here now I'm going to create an offset of 4 cm around it and then trim all of these parts together hit finish and put its extrusion end on again 4 cm now let's go to this first level in here and move it to this part okay now I'm going to select it and rotate it with no copy 45 degree and again move it to here now i'm going to select it and mirror it for other parts if you want you can extend these parts until they reach together or just simply create another part another rectangle in the center of this part with extrusion or any other of these forms now we need to just simply select it and create a new parameter for its material now go to first level and copy it from this corner to here and then to this part for chairs i think it would be better to use a family so you can either use this one this chair that i had created before you can watch it from this part top right corner it is a little bit large for this part and also it has lots of details so it could be heavy for this scene. So I'm going to use something not that much heavy like this chair, this one here. And I'm going to set it in this part. Mirror it to the other side and then rotate it one more time. For its table, I'm going to use a new family. I could create it in this generic model but since a table is something that we can use all the time I'm going to create it in this new family and I'm going to use this generic model floor base for it first set your unit on metric and then go to front view in here I'm going to first do a reference plan in this part and another one another one in here and another one in this part then I'm going to use this align dimension for creating dimension in this part another one in here and another one and this part is going to be a parameter which we are going to call height overall height okay move it down a little bit and then I'm going to use this revolve for doing my shape first create this axis from this part to here and then in boundary line I'm going to do something very simple like this and use fillets if you want for this part and also for here if you want to control this part also you can go to create and create another reference plan in this part for here and also for this part go back to this revolve in edit revolve and then lock this part with here and other parts like this now you can hit finish and create another parameter for here and if you want you can create for these parts too let's call it r1 another one for this part which could be r2 and I'm going to set this part manually like this I'm going to change these parts a little bit more and in this 3d view I'm going to check it it's height to 70 centimeter good it's radius to 50 centimeter perfect it's r2 to let's say 10 centimeter 
I'm going to select it and create a parameter for its material, simply table, and I'm going to load it into my project exactly to this point. I want this part to be a little bit bigger, something like 20 centimeter, and I want its height to be a little bit less, like 65. Okay, and okay, perfect. Go to first level, select all of them and copy them from this part to here and another one for this part. For this center part, I don't want to use that much detail in frame like this part or this part. So I want this part to have a little bit more privacy. So I'm going to first create a partition around it and I'm going to use this model in place and generic model. With this extrusion, I'm going to go to this first level and in this part with the peak line and offset of 5 cm, I'm going to create a shape like this. 1.3 cm in this part and 1.5 in here. A offset of like 5 cm and close it with this line. Now hit finish and let's go to 3D right. Create a void extrusion. In this part exactly, I'm going to set my work plan on here and I'm going to simply create a rectangle like this. Hit finish and let's go to right view again. I'm going to set it on 5 cm offset from these edges and from this point, from this part, move it to here and also set it on approximately 5 cm from this edge to extend it to the other side. Now I'm going to select the first frame, copy it on itself. Now we can go to this right view again and move it up to here and this part to here. For the other side, move it to this part and again for this part I'm going to move it to here. Go to its edit extrusion in this first level and I'm going to make it thinner. I'm going to create two different materials for its frame and also its panel. So I'm going to click on this part and create a parameter, let's say A for its frame and B for its panel. Go to this first level and I'm going to mirror it for this part and another one for the other side. The last part is going to be a sofa for here. So I'm going to go to this architecture and in this model in place in furniture, I'm going to create my sofa. In first level and with this extrusion, I'm going to do a shape with this pick line and offset of 15 centimeter in this part and another one in here. Trim them together, create a fillet like this, 40 centimeter. Then I'm going to move it down to this part and this one to here. Another offset of like 60 centimeter in this part and in here. And then I'm going to close this part and also here trim these two parts and for this corner I'm going to create a fillet of 15 centimeter. For these parts also I'm going to create a fillet but with like 10 or even 5 centimeter. For its extrusion I'm going to go to its editing place again and I'm going to move it up to this one to 35 for now and this part should be like 25 something like this and i want its thickness to be like 20 centimeter since it's a sofa i want all of these parts to have curves so i'm going to go to create and use this void sweep these for creating corners set your sketch path in first level on all of these lines hit finish and go to its edit profile. I'm going to first create a rectangle in this part and I'm going to create a corner like this in 
four centimeter with the let extra lines and i'm going to create a rectangle around now you can hit finish and finish again and then i'm going to mirror it for the top part create another extrusion and i'm going to set my work plan on this part exactly then in first level i'm going to use this pick line and offset of two centimeter in here this part and in here and change the offset to 15 centimeter in here and in here trim all of them together and fill at their corners cool move it a little bit up and for this corner again we are going to create some void sweep for its legs let's go to first level and create some extrusion with this circle in this part three centimeter radius okay one in here another one in this part i'm going to copy it for here and then i'm going to rotate it with this active copy 90 degree for here and another one for this part go to this top view and i'm going to use this table again for this part too our coffee shop is now complete as you saw it had lots of details and we can add a lot more too for example you can add some nosing for this part and also these parts you can add different type of lighting for this part and also for here you can add bottles dishes for all of these parts and also you can set all of these tables this video was all about the modeling of this coffee shop the next one is going to be all about the material lighting and renderings and i know it will be amazing so don't forget to watch it as always thank you for watching this video i hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed watching it don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial